We're here to uh, build a robot today, and we're going to be telling you a little bit about how I went, to, how I go through doing this whole process. So, as we were taking a look at you know robots to build, we were like, what hasn't been done before? There's a lot of bots out there that, you know, they shoot flags really well. We've seen everything from you know flywheels, catapults, punchers. I don't think I've seen any trebuchets yet. Maybe that'll be our next robot. Um, let's see. We've seen uh, cap robots. You know, from just I want to descore your caps to I'm going to score my own caps, cap flippers, passive cap flippers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, what we have not seen anybody do, I think, comes into the parking area stuff. So we've seen people, you know, drive up the Alliance platform and then from there drive onto the center, center platform. But what I haven't seen anybody do, and maybe somebody out there can uh, link me if somebody's already done this, is uh, drive straight up from the side onto the center platform. I think that's going to be a really cool thing if a robot's able to do that because uh, most robots are going to be worried about somebody pushing them off that's climbing up an alliance platform and I'm not sure that any robot's really going to be able to defend against some berserker just coming in and hitting them in the side and sliding up especially because if a robot's not actually capable of climbing up the side if they get pushed off the side they can't recover so there's a reason as I was taking a look at this, there's a reason that there's nobody probably doing this. is because uh, most of the wheels in VEX are only 4 inches. They used to make a 5 inch wheel, but they discontinued that one a couple of years ago. So. And the problem with a 4 inch wheel is our platform here is 5 inches tall. And to complicate things even further, the uh, pipe is only 2.5 inches in diameter, which raises that center point on that pipe up even higher. So. It's actually about an inch and a quarter higher than the center point of the wheel, which means that if you come in here with just a wheel and you run straight into the platform, your wheel's just going to bury itself under that pipe and you aren't going to go anywhere. So to get around this, I was doing some thinking. It's like, well, if our wheel can hit higher, we'd be in business. So why not just mount an extra set of wheels up high in the front? And, you know, for good measure, we can do it in the back, too. So let's try that, and we'll see uh, how well that gets up on the platform. center part of the uh, drivetrain for this push pipe. So uh, right now it's currently capable of, you know, it pretty convincingly dries up on the low platform, but uh, like most robots, it's going to have something of a problem with driving up straight to the high platform, because right now the uh, center of the wheels is underneath the center, of the center of this guy. So the eventual plan for this is we're going to have uh, an extra pair of wheels, well an extra two pairs of wheels, because we're going double wide on this guy. Uh, mounted up high like this, so that as the robot drives forward, I'll just show off the one wheel here, the wheel will hit here and it will simply be able to drive, drive itself on up. Mm -hmm. 